Hi, welcome to Women of Worth Wednesday. I'm here with my sweet, wonderful friend, Marge. And many of you may know her from uh, this book, I Can Do Hard Things With God. Um, many of you may know her from her amazing music. And we are so happy to have her today joining us for Women of Worth. I'm going to make sure we have enough time because the time goes so fast. Yes. And um, as you um, will know quickly, she has such a beautiful um, light to share. And I already see those um, signing in, someone from Zimbabwe, one of my Zimbabwe oh. sisters is <laughs> signing in. So please post if you're joining us from wherever you're joining us. And once again, we want to thank High Five Life for hosting this Women of Worth Wednesday. Please share this um, video with others. You're going to love Marge's story. So why don't you share a little bit with those watching uh, your faith story, your conversion story. Yes, about actually almost eight years ago, I joined a school for the program of translation and then I met this weird guy <laughs> who came back from his mission. They're always a little weird, right? right? <laughs> but very sweet, very sweet, very and where gentle, was this school? very kind in Haiti. In Haiti. In okay. Haiti. So, shout out to Haiti. Shout out to Haiti. <laughs> I am originally from Haiti and... Yeah, back then I was Baptist, this Baptist girl, very faithful Baptist. And Which I mean, Baptists are, they have some strong right? faith. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. for sure. But then, yeah, I have heard of the church back then, but it wasn't good things. You know how people talk yeah. about Mormons. Our horns. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they were CIA. Oh, right? CIA. <laughs> Working for the American people, okay. things like that, crazy right. things like that. But then, but then I saw something different in JP. Um, who is my husband now? He was the kind so of person. So he was the weird missionary. Yeah, the weird, husband, the weird I return love it. missionary. Yeah. So it's to to make it short. It's a very long story. Yes. I probably need to write a book. You about do, this. you do another book. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we became good friends. We were doing the same program, always in class together. We became really good friends. He was like the only, you know, honest and great you man. You could see his life. Yes, yes, definitely. So we became good friends, and he respected so much my faith, and I respected his. And he said to me once, would you like to just, you know, sit with the missionaries and talk to them and, you know, ask you all of your questions that you might have? And I said, no, I don't know. Maybe I can. And then I actually said, okay, I can just go to church one day with yeah, you. Yeah, that's not going to hurt, right? Right? <laughs> and I went to church. Of course, I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> the way they sing is awful. <laughs> Because she's, you're going to hear a little bit, she's a phenomenal vocalist. Phenomenal. So I, um, but then I, you know what, I fell in love with the words of the songs. Ah, the spirit Because of the I am someone who, I can't sing any kind of song. Because lyrics means a lot to me. I can't it's just, sacred to you. Yeah. So um, I said, well, look at that. They are like really honoring Jesus Christ and singing about his love and his, you know. I love that. Honoring love Jesus that. Christ. Yeah. And, um, yeah, after church, I decided to sit with two of the missionaries. I went to JP's house, of course, and his sisters were so nice. And the missionaries came. I can never forget that. We started the lesson, and I had all these questions, of course. But this, they asked me to do the closing prayer. And this thing, I don't know what it was that time, hit me. I was you like, didn't know it was the I don't spirit. know what it was. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how I'm feeling. You know how I described it? Yeah. I'm like, I feel like I just somebody just announced to me that I won a million dollars. That's how I told you. Don't you love that description yeah. of the spirit? Yeah, and I I'm like, I don't that. know what that is. And he started explaining to me from the scriptures, this is how the spirit made you feel. Oh. And I felt like, oh my gosh. I was I was praying, crying, smiling. Like and, you had one yeah, million I was dollars. like, I don't know what I, I just feel so happy. I don't know what that is. And I can't blame it on the missionary trying to brainwash me. I can't blame it on anybody. I'm like, I can't deny this spirit. And and I struggle. You know, a lot of people tell me, where did you join this church? You're black. You don't know what they've done with black people and all these stuff. But then I'm like, how can I deny, deny this, spirit. this spirit? You know, it was hard for me to leave my church, but I knew that I had to get baptized. I so, knew that I had to join the the church because you know i'm like it was like that big good news for me and i could not deny it so i love what you just shared yeah. 
because <clears throat> I was just talking to a friend yesterday that's dealing with a question of faith. Mm -hmm. Why do we assume that once you join the church, whatever mm -hmm. way that is at eight or 80, right? Mm -hmm. That you're done asking questions and struggling with some things. Oh, you do not. You're, you're not. not. And no. so we need to make a space in the church mm -hmm. For constant conversion, right? Yes. And yes. that means, what do I do with this issue of what I feel about race in the church? Mm -hmm. I always say, put it in your back burner. Yeah. Put it in a box because you can't deny this other. I can't, yeah. It's I, not gone. There's a lot of things that is not in our power right yes. now. We don't know the answers yes. to yes. And if we focus on people, I we, love will, that. We, will, we will be done. I love If you focus on comments and people and, and you know, humanness, right? Yeah. People offend. I can't. I can't do it. I just heard someone, I read something recently that said, get ready if you join the church that you will get offended. Oh, yeah. And if you get ready knowing that's going to happen, then mm -hmm. Satan doesn't have any power, right? I love it. Okay, so quickly, um, so conversion happens. Yeah. And one of the stories that is in this forgiveness book is Marge's story. About and my dad, yeah. About her dad. And, and can you just share your thoughts on forgiveness? Her dad left their family and um, and how the gospel has helped you with forgiveness. If you want the backstory, you can pick up this book. Yeah, pick up this book. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. But share your then, thoughts on how the gospel kind of helped that process. You know, it's it's sometimes you feel like, how does God see this? You know, you have to put your shoe a little bit because we can't really put our shoe. Because <laughs> he's perfect. God's shoe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you're like, how about me? What if that was me? Wouldn't I want to be forgiven? Like as a dad who you know abandoned mom, kids, and was really, really mean to really my mom painful. We're this making whole, yeah yeah we're telling yeah. the quick version. The quick it, version. It was very painful. It was very painful. And you can talk about forgiveness until yeah. it's your dad that leaves you. Yeah. Right? right. And and right now, how do I feel? Is I really want to see him. I wish that one day I could you could have a reconciliation. Yeah. Yeah. I could meet him and talk to him, and I just feel. You know, a lot of compassion and yeah. love. And, and, and maybe those of you that are listening are experiencing that too. Someone in your family yeah. you don't have contact with and you want that to heal. Yeah. What have you, what kind of prayer do you pray about that in your life? In your um, it's just always, I'm, I'm always looking for humbleness, like ah. trying to be humble. You know, I'm always... I'm a very heart and soul person. Yes. And, and Can you see it? For heart and soul all over. <laughs> seeking, trying, yeah, you know, yeah, trying. Yeah. And it's just, it's a constant struggle. Yes. I struggle a lot, you know, spiritually. I ask God questions like, okay, why would you do this? Like, why would, you know, things like that. I love that because <laughs> yeah. I, I think we stop um, finding joy if mm -hmm. we aren't staying humble. Yes. Right? Yes. I think humility allows us to have God help our hearts heal, mm -hmm. help us change, help yes. us reconnect, help us deal with hard things in our marriage, mm -hmm. financial struggles, right? It's, it's humility. When my Definitely. pride gets in there, yes. I am toast. Yes. I am gone because yes. then I'm telling God why mm -hmm. you've forgotten me. You've abandoned me. So, um, so tell um, our viewers a little bit about your music. If they want to find you, where can they find you? And that heart and soul, how you take that Mormon Kind of <laughs> right. Sometimes Mormons put a little bit of we need a spicy little in we it. need a little worship. <laughs> we need a little Baptist energy, yeah. and we need a little Haitian, right? So if you need all of that, and you're still you know a faithful member of the church, and we have non Mormons that join us yes, all the time, yes. and I welcome them, um, and and love you being a part of this high five community. But talk talk about your music and what you I hope just, to bring. I from just it. love music. I grew up. As you know, Baptist, and my mom told me when she was pregnant of me, all she could do was sing. When I was born, all we could do was sing. I didn't have toys. I didn't have. I love it. I just didn't have toys. That was like the norm. <laughs> all so I had to do was sing, like, to sing and, you fun. know, trying to act and yeah. do all this stuff. Yeah. And I grew up with music, so that's what I want to do. I can't, like, my whole family's music. You, if you watch our videos, you see my yes. son and my babies. Like, she has beautiful children. She has a son and a daughter that are just gorgeous. And they're they the next generation, blessing. right, of yeah. music. I mean, so um, my music, as you know, is for a purpose. My yes. motto is music for a purpose. I'm from Haiti. There are a lot of young people there that are looking up to me because, you know, some of my songs are on TV in Haiti. So they kind of know me there. Yes. <laughs> She's a big deal in Haiti. She's a big so deal in Haiti. So my, my music is always for, you know, is always support, a supporting a cause or it's worshiping God or 
it's it's uplifting, empowering, you know, it's fun. And I always put a little Caribbean twist to it, a little bit it. percussion. And if you've seen Alex Boyer, you've performed yes, with him I've, many I've performed times. Alex Boyer. And yeah. some we kind of like videos. the same roots. Yeah, you know, African yeah. style. Yeah. yeah. And I've done some a lot of work for the church, yes, videos yeah. Yeah. and commercials and things like that. Well, what but, I love, what I love is that um, I just had another conversation this week about someone that says I don't have a place in the church because I'm politically really liberal, mm. and it's so easy in the church nowadays to get in our ites, yes. our ite group. Yes. Like, oh, yeah. you're a Nephite, you're a Zoramite, you're a you're a this ite. And, and then sometimes we think there's not room in the church for all of us. And yes. there is. And yes. I said to her, we need you with your political views that are maybe different than the norm in your community. We need yeah. you to stay. We need all of it. Yeah. We need Haitian, African. We need a boring white girl. <laughs> You're not boring. She's amazing. <laughs> boring white girl. Amazing I always white tell girl. people, I'm just a middle-aged woman white girl trying to make no, it you, you know so we need everybody here and so thank yeah. you for being authentic about what you bring to the table your mm -hmm. journey of faith and your heartbreak okay. it's in your music and it's in your faith so if people want to find you where they where can they find well, you my, all of my social media are under my name M-A-R-J and Marsh. I've tagged it in this video so, use, yes, yeah. you can just go there and yeah I just released a Christmas album it was yeah. fun and then we're working on Be Still yes. album it's new, just going to be album. a lot of it's a very soulful worshipping album and um, I have a concert it's February 10 too we are awesome. there's a group of, of people going to Haiti to teach um, self defense to some young young women so Love we are it. trying to raise money for them yeah and so find and follow find Marge and, and, yeah. and support her because her music is purposeful and thank yeah. you for all of thank you, you for joining. joining yes thank and you. please share this share this especially share this with someone that you think is thinking to themselves I don't have a spot in this church. Yeah. I don't look like everybody else. Or my story is not like everybody else. We, we need, need you. We need everybody. We need everybody. We need that. Yeah. yeah. We do. We do. So thank you for being oh, here. I love you. you. for having Join us thank next week. Us. Women of Worth Wednesday. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Hi.